Hi, in this clip we'll have a look at how and to determine and what the optimal capital structure is. So in the video on WAC, uh, the calculation of WAC, you saw we use the, either the target capital structure to determine the weightings of the debt and equity, or we can use the market values or the book values of the different components, i.e. debt and equity. So what is the target or optimal capital structure? So this graph tries to explain it. So let's assume a cost of equity of 18%. So that's the required return that the investors want for providing finance. And then the after-tax cost of debt is 7.2%. So before tax, it would be 10%. Uh, so that's the bank's interest rate. So what is the optimal capital structure? So if you look on the y-axis, that's the cost of capital. So for equity, it's 18%. For debt, it's 7.2%. And the weighted average would be somewhere in between. And then the x-axis, this one, is the capital structure or the debt-equity ratio. So let's put that in there. Debt-equity ratio. It's the mix of debt and equity. So if we have only equity on the left-hand side, then the cost of capital will be the cost of equity, which is 18%. Because 100% of the company is funded by equity. If we have mostly debt, I don't want to say only debt, because who owns the company then, who borrowed the money, but say it's effectively close to 100% of only debt, then, let's make that blue, the cost of capital will be the cost of debt, 7.2%. Now, it looks higher here, but we'll explain that later. So the... As we include or add debt to our capital structure, you can see the cost of capital comes down. And it has to come down because the cost of debt is always less than the cost of equity, because there's less risk involved. Until we reach a stage where it's at the optimal level. So in between these two lines, you'll see there's the optimal level of debt and equity. So it's not only equity, not only debt, somewhere in between. And that's where the WAC is the lowest. But then, this might be, say, this point here might be where we have 70% debt and 30% equity. And what happens if you have too much debt? Financial risk increases. So the risk of not being able to repay your interest and your capital repayments. We've got so much debt that our profit might not cover the, these interest payments. And now, what happens? Investors start wanting more, a higher return for the increased risk. So the cost of equity rises. But also the cost of debt rises because you've got so much debt, you've already secured all your assets, so you might, might be looking at unsecured debt. And then the interest rate will rise because of the higher risk involved. So both the cost of equity and the cost of debt will increase, which will increase your WAC. So as you can see, as we add more debt, which is cheaper than equity, our cost of capital comes down. It reaches a point where it's the lowest that it can possibly be. That's the optimal capital structure anywhere in between these two points of debt equity ratios. Then as we add too much debt and the gearing becomes too high, the debt equity ratio becomes too high, both this, the sources of debt, the banks, the borrowers, will require a higher interest rate to compensate for the increased risk, and the investors will require a higher rate of return because of all the financial risk. So the optimal capital structure is where the WAC is the lowest. 